Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can add icons to Power BI table and conditionally format it. So adding the icons to a Power BI table will going to increase its uh, acceptability or inter interpretability in terms of whether the value is, is in alignment with the rules that you are setting. For example, high value is green. Uh, if it is under certain threshold then it is yellow or it is below the threshold then it is low something like that right so using icons basically greatly enhance the visualization uh, in, of the table and in this video i'll show you how you can do it very quickly so with that uh, let me show you uh, let me just tell you one quick information that this sheet is present in the description so that you can see all of my previously created video or any future videos you can quickly search it and jump to those using the links present here so you can keep it as a bookmark under your power bi learning and use it whenever you want so with that let's move on to the power bi and see it in action so over here <clears throat> sorry over here we have the power bi table and uh, we are con currently using the conditional formatting and the part that's what i have been telling in the last couple of videos so what i'll do is i'll go into the sales measure and remove the conditional formatting and we'll say all and now i will again go into the conditional formatting and this time i will going to choose the icons as you can see it's very very straightforward so what it is doing is using the rules apply to values only sum of sales summarization is sum icons will be present on the left hand side you can choose wherever icon only or right to the data i'm choosing left on the data based on the default and icon alignment is top and the the icon that you can choose is present over here right so you can choose let's say even this one uh that if the value is 0 to 33 percent 33 percent to 67 percent or 67 to 100 percent based on that the categorization will happen you can also choose the number if your preference is number so let's go with this default setting and simply click ok so with that you can clearly see that uh, values which are in the higher order is having the green icon on the upper side over here it is somewhere in the middle and here these are the lower values that's why they have they are low so that's very quickly i wanted to show you how you can enable the icons in your power bi table and make it much more uh, user friendly and user quickly able to jump to something which is uh, highlighted or interested to them with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic